Good morning, guys. Um, I'm gonna do like a walk around today. I guess kind of explaining what I do. Um, and we're getting a white 07 STI in today. I'm really excited about it. It's got a lot of good parts on it. Um, it's not gonna be parted out, don't worry. Unless for some odd reason it's, I find like something major uh, that's wrong with it. But I'm gonna do like a walk around, show you guys what I do and um yeah then like delivery of the hawkeye and just look the car over show some of the mods it's got some cool stuff on it um it doesn't run uh but uh it'll be cool to show uh everybody just around the car i guess so for what i do um i part out fix buy sell subarus um like this hatch um is getting a motor um, like this car is getting parted out. This car is, I'm selling the chassis to somebody. I'm actually selling the chassis to somebody uh, for this blue one as well. Um, so both these chassis are getting sold. Um, let's see, here's my Tundra that I used to uh, haul all the cars with. It uh, does okay, but it's what I have for now. Um, I have my dad's uh, car trailer what I put the cars on. Here's the Forester you guys saw in yesterday's video. Um, I got it rolling. Um, here's another car that, um, unfortunately this one has a rebuilt title. It's very clean, um, but it does have a rebuilt title. Um, so again, I'm gonna try and sell the chassis. I, I like to save them as much as I can. Um, so it's gonna be somewhat parted out, but like I said, most of the time, um, if they're rust free like this, somebody will buy the chassis, which is nice. That doesn't just go to the scrapyard. Um, and I've got this 04. Um, this one is very low mile, only has 38,000 miles. Um, it's a little dirty on the inside right now, but I mean, everything looks kind of new on it. It's very clean. But yeah, so like this one is obviously not getting parted out. That one's getting a motor, only 38,000 miles. Um, I bought it with no motor in it. Same with this one, I bought it with no motor. Um, so yeah, I originally started doing this when I had my previous Forester and I would buy a car usually that was blown up um, and I would take the mods I wanted and then I'd put them on my Forester and then I'd part the rest of the car out and um, it would, I basically pay for my parts, so, which is super nice. Um, and then I just started slowly making money, started doing it part-time instead of just at nights, um, and then started doing it full-time. And this is what I do. So, yeah, I love, I love doing it. Um, the Hawkeye looks like it's actually here. You can see him over there. He's gonna turn around um, it's hard to back in our driveway here from coming from the north. So he's going to turn around and then back in. But yeah, once it we drop it off, um, he I'm probably not going to film him or anything. But once he drops it off, then I'll do a walk around of it. But yeah, so I do this full time now. Um, trying to get YouTube started. I've had a lot of people say that I should. So trying to get that started. But... Yeah, so this is my uh, little business I got, Burger Performance Parts LLC. Um, yeah, I just started rolling really good this year. So super excited. It's working out awesome so far. If I can keep buying cars, they'll keep working out. So um, let me talk to this guy and then I'll maybe I'll take some videos of it getting unloaded. Looks like we're gonna have to unload this Jeep beforehand. So this is how I get most of my cars in here. Um, if they're farther than three, three to four hours. I really don't like driving any farther than that. Then I just uh, get them shipped. So yeah guys, here's the Hawkeye. Looks pretty nice. Honestly, I love white. Looks pretty nice. It's got some quick release bumper set up. 
It's got, I know it's got a front mount. It's got a rotated turbo kit on it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice looking. So let's, uh, I'm sure we're gonna have to finagle this one off, this uh, Jeep here. But yeah, let me put the phone down for a bit now and we'll get this unloaded. is the Hawkeye it's pretty nice it's got I don't know what it's got cut here in the front bumper I don't know what that's for I think it might be for an oil cooler or something he had that he was gonna put in there um, so obviously it's got these quick release things which I'm not a fan of <coughs> front bumper is cut for a front mount I mean, it does have a front mount on it um, the hood I don't know if it's been repainted or something or if it was just hit. So the hood is not in great condition. Um, other than that, there's one, there's a, like a bunch of spider webbing right here. That you can see that he must have hit something. Um, other than that, it's not that bad. There's a lot of rubbing on the tires. There's already some, he has camber put in as you can see but it still rubs he's got spacers on here um inside it's pretty the seats pretty nice door panels are nice this shifter though i'm not sure if i like this or not it's weird it's super short but i just don't know if i like it um he's got like some some like suede i think or something um yeah interior is pretty nice got some extra parts in the back here came with an extra clutch um this is a shift linkage because um that shifter uses its own shift linkage battery re relocation um it's got a new parent sway bar i believe up front because it already has a rear it's either i don't know if it's parent or not um and it also has radium double pump hanger this is the hard wiring for it um he told me it's got kw let's see if we can see here it's hard to see he said it has kw coilovers on it it's hard to see looks like it does not sure what headers these are let's pop the hood though guys Got a rotated turbo kit on it. Yeah, the hood is a little messed up. There's like some denting over here, and I don't know. Got one hood strut. Oh man. It's got a pretty good sized garret. So, yeah, these KWs, can we see? They don't say, but I think they're KWs. Looks like we got, what does that say? What? I can't even see what that says. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what brand that is. Looks like it's got, it's been painted or something. The, um, the intake here, it's got a fuel system. Um, looks like Tomika or Tomica. Um, fuel rails, yeah. So we said it, I think it's a turbo XS, um, a turbo XS rotated kit. We got our tile ball valve here, Cusco bracing up here. Here's this oil cool. Oh, that is. He's, so he's got holes. These holes must go to this uh, this thing right here, which goes to this oil cool. I actually kind of like that. Where's he got? The fuse panel. Does he have the top? Does he have the fuse panel tucked? Into the he does. The fuse panel 
It looks like it's tucked into this fender. That might be a nightmare. Oh boy. He says, the guy thought the ECU went bad on this thing. He said he thought the ECU was bad. Could be a bone motor for all I know. Um, that doesn't, it's cool that he tucked the fuse box. It's, it looks nice, but I feel like that could be a lot of issues. So we're definitely gonna have to pull that fender off, the bumper and the fender, and take a look. That could be an issue. That could be why it's having issues possibly. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's fairly nicely done. Got a little IAG coolant tank looks like. Mishimoto Rad. Um, let's see if I can see anything else cool. Obviously it's got the rotating kit on it. What kind of what gear it is this? I'll have to look it up. Oh, I think he said it's a 30, I don't remember what he said, 3076 or 3082. I can't remember what he said. Looks good in the engine though. I like the look of it a lot. Um, I don't know what piping kit this is or what front mount it is. But uh, yeah, it's got a lot of good parts on it. A lot. A lot of good parts on it. So, um, yeah. I, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be working on it today, but I just wanted to do the, the walk around video, basically. Um, yeah, it's a nice looking car. So I'll probably throw this up. It might be like a 10 minute video, maybe a little longer. Um, yeah, this is, this is what I do guys. It, uh, oh, this doesn't happen all the time, but yeah, cars get dropped off like this. And I already have seen them on videos, but I've never seen them in person. So yeah, I pretty much just buy them sight on scene basically. Um, it's a lot of, lot of fun. There's some risk involved. You know, there could be more wrong with this than I think. Could be less wrong with it than I think. But uh, yeah, like this blue one got dropped off once. I picked up this silver one over here. But probably about 50-50 that I pick up versus are dropped off. Um, like this one was from like Toledo area. This one was from Indiana, but the guy dropped it off to me. This one was in Norton Shores, which is uh, like Muskegon over by the lake shore it's fairly close i'm in grand rapids area so yeah i'm in the very middle of putting these seats in my forester but uh i will get to that hawkeye but this will probably be the end of the video um i just want to do i'm trying to not upload daily but often maybe a couple times a week maybe if i have enough things to record so yeah this is the end of the video thanks for watching subscribe like i said i've got the forester build coming um and i'll hopefully keep videoing these maybe me trying to fix them me trying to problem solve them uh i'll be dropping a motor and like this hatch here so yeah thanks for watching um like i said subscribe helps me out the more people that follow the more motivated i am to keep going